How do you measure the mass of a pencil? In this lesson, you will learn how to find the mass of an object by using a balance scale. Let's review. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Everything has mass. Gases like oxygen and carbon have mass. Gases usually have the least mass because the particles that make up different gases are sp spaced further apart from each other. Liquids like water and milk have mass. Liquids usually have more mass than gases, but less mass than solids. Solids like wood and steel have mass too. Solids usually have the most mass because the particles that make up different solids are packed very tightly. A common misunderstanding. Thinking that the mass of an object is always related to the size of an object. Let's take a look at this balloon and this baseball. Even though the balloon is bigger, the baseball actually has more mass. We measure the mass of objects in grams and kilograms. To help us understand these different measurements, we use benchmark weights that give us a better idea of different masses and what they feel like. A paper clip has a mass of about 1 gram. A baseball bat has the mass of about 1 kilogram. The prefix kilo means 1,000. So a baseball bat has the same mass of about 1,000 paper clips. We use different scales to measure the mass of different objects. This is a balance scale. We put objects we want to find the mass of on one side and then put known objects with specific mass on the other until they both even out. This is a kitchen or spring scale. Sometimes when we cook, we may use a kitchen scale to help us with the recipe. To measure smaller objects, we use a balance scale. Balance scales are used to measure objects by comparing their mass to a set of known masses. We can use benchmark masses to determine the weight of another object. Known weights have a mass that everyone in the world has agreed on. These known weights are also called standard weights because they would be standard no matter what city, state, or country you are in. We have 1 gram, 10 grams, 100 grams, and 1 kilogram. Now we use abbreviations. So we use G to represent grams, and we use KG to represent kilograms. OK, so here we have a balance scale. And we're going to be using it to measure the mass of this pencil. The first thing we do is place the pencil on one side of the scale. This will make the scale tilt down a little. Now remember, our objective is to make sure the balance scale is even on both sides. To do that, we have to add known masses to the other side until it evens out. OK, now both sides of the scale are completely equal. Now we want to add 1 gram plus 1 gram plus 1 gram plus 1 gram, and we're going to get 4 grams. So the mass of this pencil is 4 grams. So here we have a baseball. We're going to measure the mass of this baseball by placing it on one side of the balance scale. All right, again, we can see that the balance scale tilts. Our objective is to make sure it is completely equal or even on both sides. So let's add a 100 gram weight on the right side. You can see the balance scale moved, but not enough, so we need to add a few more weights. Let's add a couple 10 gram weights. Moved a little bit, again, we're not quite there. All right, now we're completely equal. Now we have to add the weight of all these masses. We have 100, and two tens, which is 20, and two ones, which is two. So 100 plus 20 plus two, we're gonna get 122 grams. So the mass of this baseball is 122 grams. In this lesson, you have learned how to find the mass of an object by using a balance scale.